producers, it's Özgün here. In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to use stereo enhancing techniques and how can you widen your tracks. We are going to take a look at FL Studio stock plugins and some external ones that I'm using in my productions. If you're ready, let's get into that tutorial. So, to show you stereo imaging techniques, I'm gonna use a track I'm working for my Udemy course. First of all, let's hear the background. In this case, the first tip I'm gonna give is using stereo shaping, use stereo delay for the drum elements. So what does this plugin does? It's a FL Studio stock plugin, but you can do this trick with some external plugins too. Even you can do this in the sampler of the FL Studio. What this plugin does, it's just basically delaying left and the right signal. So the brain thinks that the sound is really wide and it's not even touching the phases of the sound, so it's called Haas effect. So without the claps, they sound like this. It. So I'm gonna turn this off and you can clearly hear how it's gonna become narrow when I turn this off. So this is the first tip I can give and even you can do this with your percussions probably almost with all the drums. So this is my percussion length. If I add this 10 millisecond delay. It become much more wider. Let's hear it with the bass and the kick. And the second tip, let's hear the drop leads. As you can hear, they are really wide and covering all the mix down. To achieve this, the first tip I'm gonna give is choose the right sounds. And after that, I'm adding a S1 imager to the end of the chain. But just be careful, if you do it overly, the leads become really annoying. It's gonna be really weird. So right now they are not even in the mix, but if I do it wisely, they become really wide and instantly my mix down with the pass effect in the bass and this stereo widening effect in the drop leads, the track is really wide now. And the key thing is, you know, the chain, the order of the insert FX chain is matters in every DAW. So I'm putting my stereo imager end of the chain, like even after the reverb and the delay. So it changes. If you put it like this, it's gonna process the dry sound, then it's gonna widen it up then the reverb will come. But if you do it like this, after the reverb, the stereo imaging will be applied to the sound and the bot is going to sound different. So choose wisely which is fitting best for your track. And so the other tip to get some stereo whitening in your tracks, when you stack sounds like this, let's turn this off. So there is no stereo processing right now in the steps. 
But still, without any plugins, I can make them more wide. I'm gonna just put it 10% to the left and put it 10% to the right, maybe even more. So with this, you can just order your instrument, your sounds, where to stand in your mix. So you can place the sounds like in the stereo field like this. So let's hear them all. And yeah, with this tree technique, you can make your mix downs really wide. Your drops is gonna sound much more powerful and bright. Today that was it. I hope you can apply this to your own productions too. Thanks for watching guys. See you on the next video. Bye bye.